This is the whole fast vacuum chucking system manufactured by TMI Products. It is a three component system designed to make wood turning easier, faster, and more professional at a reasonable cost. The first component, the A12 vacuum generator, is a highly efficient Venturi unit that uses air pressure from small to large compressors. The minimum air volume output should be 2.5 to 3 CFM at 70 to 95 PSI. The 812 generator will produce vacuum up to 27 inches at sea level. As all venturis are affected by barometric pressure, the output will drop at higher elevations. Typically, at 2,000 feet, Vacuum ratings of 24 to 26 inches are produced. Minimum safe holding conditions for wood turning are 12 to 15 inches. The performance of the 812 vacuum generator closely matches electric vacuum pumps at less than one third of the cost. The second component is the universal V802 vacuum adapter designed to fit any lathe that has a 3 8 ID through hole in the headstock spindle. The adapter incorporates a rotary bearing housing that goes onto a threaded rod. The vacuum hose attaches to the hose barb on the rotary housing and to the vacuum generator. The adapter incorporates a unique diaphragm bearing cover seal that makes it possible to use smaller compressors by eliminating vacuum leakage. The threaded rod with a rotary bearing housing attached is inserted into the outboard end of the spindle. Initially, the rod is cut to length that leaves approximately one fourth inch extending out of the spindle end. Finally, thread the locking adapter onto the rod and finger tighten. Attach the blue vacuum hose to the generator. The system is ready. Vacuum test details are outlined in the instruction guide. The vacuum chuck heads make up the third component. There are three sizes available, three and a half inch, six inch, and eight inch. They are molded in glass filled nylon with a machined threaded adapter bonded to the back side. All are available in thread sizes of one inch eight, one and a quarter inch eight and 33 millimeter. Each chuck head has two closed cell neoprene rubber o-rings. They are easily replaced. The seals are mounted to provide both concave and convex contact. The holding power of the chuck at 20 plus inches of vacuum amounts to 9.8 pounds per square inch of the diameter area or a holding force of 69 pounds for the three and a half inch, 233 pounds for the six inch, and 433 pounds for the eight inch. Accessory items help to make use of the chucks much easier. A few of the more important ones are the chuck reversing adapter, chuck extenders, and various spindle thread adapters. The spindle adapters are available in all thread size combinations allowing a specific chuck to be used on various size spindle threads. The 812 vacuum generator is also used with the 820 wood stabilization system and with the router vacuum seal clamping kit. Both of these products are examples of the versatility of the 812 vacuum generator. To show you how all of this works, Nick Cook does his magic with a whole fast vacuum chuck system. Nick is one of the early pioneers in the development of vacuum chucking. The whole fast vacuum chuck system includes three separate components. You've got the vacuum generator with a vacuum gauge on it and the on and off switch. It's connected to your compressor which gives it the air to run through the uh, Venturi, and then the vacuum line that goes through the headstock. The vacuum line is connected to a bearing that fits in the headstock on the tailstock or tail end of it, 
and then it's connected by lamp rod to a seal and it just slides through here. You cut it to the appropriate length and seal it all up. Along with that, we've got three separate chucks that will fit in the system. We've got a small one for small items, the medium size, and then a large one for doing large bolts. And this will allow you to either turn completely or if nothing else, just reverse the piece and allow you to turn the bottom off of it. So for most of you, turning a traditional bowl on a chuck is really easy until you get to the back side of it, trying to figure out how to get the chuck marks off of the piece. Using the vacuum chuck, you simply take the chuck off of the lathe, you attach the threaded insert and place the chuck into the tailstock. You mount the, the vacuum chuck, you bring the tailstock up to the vacuum chuck, it self-centers, you turn on the vacuum, you release the jaws of the chuck, back it away, and you're ready to finish the bottom. It's perfectly centered, and all you have to do is come in and eliminate any evidence of how it was chucked. is a finished product. You sand it and put a finish on it. It's ready to go. Unlike the large jaws that you can use to uh, do the bottom of a piece, you can't do a natural edge piece. This will allow you to put this on here. We're simply going to put it on the chuck. We've already finished this, except for the bottom. We're going to push it up. Turn on the vacuum, release the chuck, again it's running perfectly true and all we have to do is cut away the uh, evidence of how it was chucked to begin with. Okay, this time we're going to start with just a raw blank. We're going to turn a bowl completely without uh, using any mechanical chucks. We're going to turn the bottom side of the piece first, and then we're going to reverse it and put it into the uh, vacuum chuck and turn the top side of it. So I've got it roughly centered on here. Take away the tail stock and we'll do the final finish on the bottom. And even with the vacuum chuck, I'm going to do a slight recess in the bottom. That way if the wood distorts at all, you're still sitting on a, a ring and it's going to require less adjustment. Light cut. Now we're going to simply take this off, reverse it, almost perfect, <clears throat> amazing, wonders never cease.
here because we have no reinforcement. A little bit lighter cut we can order. More of a finishing cut. And I'm cutting from the bottom up, uh, assuming that I'd already sanded and finished the bottom of it. If I go in the other direction, then it's going to leave some tear out. Again, you don't want to be overly aggressive because it's simply held on with the vacuum. By keeping the mass in the center, the piece is not going to uh, flutter or vibrate so much. The hole is drilled in here for depth. Once I'm to the bottom of the hole, that's as deep as I want to go. A little sanding and some finish. And the piece is done without any evidence of how it was chopped. There you go. Okay, now you can see why a vacuum chuck and just a few components make it real easy to make a, a bowl completely without any mechanical fasteners. There's no faceplate, there's no screws, there's no recesses that you have to do a particular size. You've got a finished product ready to sand and finish.